Hi, welcome to our new tutorial on how to manage your business assets with the WordPress Asset Manager. So let's start. First go to your WordPress dashboard, select Plugin and activate WPERP Asset Manager. Then go to WPERP dashboard and click on HR. If you don't find it in the menu bar then click on More and hit on Asset Management, you can see previous asset stocks are available. Now, click on a new entry. Fill out the pop-up box. You can select category from the category drop-down. Add a new category if you want. Write the category name and save. You can edit your category from here. Now write the item name. Set asset type. Fill the item information. You can add more items by clicking add another item. Click on save asset. Congratulations, your new assets are available now. It's time to work on asset allotment. Click on the allotment. Go to the new entry. Select category. Item name. Item. Select allowed employ. Add the given date and return date. Save it. Your asset allotment is done. You can do this process directly from the employee profile. Let's see how. Go to the employee section. Select any of your employees. Click on the asset. Now add a new asset. Similarly, fill up the pop-up box. And hit on assign. Your asset allotment is done. Now go to the employees dashboard. Go to HR. Click on my profile. Hit on asset. You can see the assigned asset and request asset section. Now do a request for a new asset. Select category and item. Then submit your request. If your requested item is not available in the category you can write a description and send a request. As an admin, you can view all the requests from the request section. Click on approve and fill out the pop-up form. And hit on approve. The product is now approved. Yes, so simple it is. Now you can manage your business asset more efficiently with WPERP Asset Manager. Why let, get WPERP Asset Manager and make your asset management hassle-free.